Tell me what you will have me do. It is time to lay down the sword over battle. Your savior needs you to live a life for a different man. Yes. Dream? No, my only dream. <laughs> Will you ever tell me what you see? I see only my lovely Petra. Mm. Mm. Oh, please. How can you desire such a cow? Mm. What a beautiful cow it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he kicks fierce as his father this morning. What do you know it's a he? And Nora insists your firstborn will be an heir. Ah. We're taking divine counsel from the Slavic witch now, are we? She's a healer, not a witch. Her herbs help my weakness and sleep. And the silent hooded one, does he offer dirt scratch visions of our son's fate? Yeah. He insists he'll be as pious and mule headed as his father. Not mule headed. Just devote to the thing at hand. Good. Get your breeches up and devote to filling the barrels. We need that of water. I think that'll be a task for a strong cow. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
destroy the wasted seeds like the rest. God will bestow us with a child in his time, Eric. And let God waste his hours chasing a barren hole with swollen meat. Should I draw a bath, my lady? I need more than a bath. Sweet as well. So much more. Comfort awaits you. As does your fur covered squire. I'm looking. Calm yourself. You're such an impatient you. <laughs> I'm sure you were throwing that in my face. It was but one time. Very dark. She had familiar wool. I am true. And you're one to talk. Yeah, I see you in the fields, your tartish play, catching a rub on every buck and ram. Mutton troubles, my friend. Good day, both, Petra. She's a bit of a cranky pox. Uh, I know. Perhaps Miriam needs a little rest. Because all she does is sleep. Sleep, eat, and shit. That's because it's a sheep. Eh? Hey? Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a beautiful one. Yeah, I'm sorry, I mean, Pot, I know. My fault. <laughs> oh, love spreads like a sweet healing balm. How many troops with the tax collector? Three knights of the familiar, five horsemen, all skilled. These hooded thieves will meet a fierce surprise. <clears throat> and if the hoods hide the faces of rebels? They would ride in numbers with their wolf. But the bit of the ankle wouldn't just steal a mere piece of your bounty, my lord. These attacks are an assertion of condition. It's righteous peasants setting their own rule of tribute. 
Then crush them, Marlis. They ignite the rabble. If they steal from us again, we'll have more aspiring outlaws and servants to wipe my shit. Take care, fool. You're not scrubbing your floor. Maybe such as excuse me. Friends in Glen Darby Birch. Ventress comes again. Colettus. We're busy. More brutal than ever. Double the tax, double the guards. They'll be at our door by daybreak. Our journey is longer, traveling off the main trails. We need to ride now if we want to catch him in darkness. These troops will be ready for us. The risk grows too great. They'll take what little stock and harvest we have left. A winter of starvation is the greater risk. We can't do this without you. Okay. Gather supplies. We'll need to ride before midday. I want to fight with No, Ash, you're better use here. Bring the proper age. It's a proper mind we're in need of. I'm clever. Please, I, I want to help. If we need to make haste off beaten paths, no one knows the woods better than our clever traveler. Yeah, true. I know every twig from you to the sea caverns. Please. You can ride with us, but you don't fight. And the sheep stays here. I get a hood, though, right? Yay! I'll make you one out of sheepskin. <laughs> you can leave Miriam in our pen. She'll be safe there. <laughs> You're a cruel one, poor Uncle Chad. He's tough and mindless beast, and I'm the cruel one. Come on, boys. You should. I wear it often. Pentress is sly and brutal. It's only time and chance before you feel his blade. You're not a rebel, Wilkin. Let the band of this ankle take their defiant vengeance to our barons. This isn't about vengeance. You heard your father. We take this risk to survive. The baron's tax leech comes twice a season now. We're barely stocking food to live. You're the only stop I can't live without. Good morning, farmer. Der Dame. And how is our gentle deedling doing today? Very active. <laughs> a life eager to begin a greater journey. Hey, you must cover this wound. The spill layer of the river swims with sickness. I'm fine. And in three days' time, you will be weak and fevered. Boil this. Soak the wound in the broth. Thank you. Reps for the other two coins. Just double shillings for that. Finish the task. Fair rate will follow. Yeah! Did you shrunk the rag in dumb paste? Uh, I pop and sit in the bags, Father. I can. <laughs>
Every time. I'm dear, Isabel. I've been swimming in this water since I was born. The chill refreshes my spirit. Reminds me of who I am. Baroness, who caused her death? The hopeful Welsh girl who knows God holds her close. He has a journey in mind. Yes. I know that girl. Time is the most aggressive foe, Malice. The favor of my rule changes with the wind. The unrest that grows on this damp rock. I need to make my gains now, for I still hold the king's trust. Wealth, my lord, is the foundation of any temple of power. We need to fortify our resources, steeper taxes and tariffs. Yes, agreed. Pardon, Lord Ventress, good Chamberlain. Baron Price's emissary waits for you at the market. He is quite eager. I assume Price sends no gifts with his eager messenger. Gifts, Baron. Stuffed pheasant, aged wine, a bevy of virgin whores. Why would he send such a ballot cod? Why does he want an audience? Oh, yes, again, he makes a heated point of the steep tariff. Asserts that Baron Price will refuse payment if it grows again. If Price wants access to the sea, he will pay for it. And if he refuses, then we have cause to assert power. Into Price, yeah. But his legions outnumber ours. Price is a man of books. Thinkers die in battle. Bill Baron, Chamberlain. What is our passage for today, Father? Genesis. We're learning how God created us in his likeness. Give us a perfect world. Care to join us, Baron? Yes. Another time, Father. And what of our king? Where will Edward sit in this dispute with you and Baron Price? Where his soft French bottom always sits, in the middle, waiting like a flowered girl to coo the victor, with a mouthful of noble seed. Ah, oh, yes, because he's a bit fancy. Tell Price's man the tariff just went up again. The fair? More than fair. But, my lord, you... You realize you taunt him by raising it yet again? The taunt is the message. Deliver it. Yes, sorry. Baron, Chamberlain. Your young brother doubts our methods. Half of my blood. Quarter of the brains. Because you don't have the arm to swing it, Pooney Kim. Says you, you fat elf. Will you two ever grow up? You should be whittling me toys, not playing hero. Whittling is for the name of mind, motherly daughter. <laughs> be certain that's not how you return. <laughs> I need to wear the funeral mask. I'm not dead yet, boys. The mask is for me. You either death of me, a reckless folk. Oh. Keep her heavy on the mead while I'm away, boy. She's bad about that, boy. Am I a ghost without tears? I will, Dad. Heaps of it. <laughs>
Yeah, the cow. Are you staying there? Catching your mother the sneakish birth. Running the laws of nature now, farmer. Never, dear Eva. I think we control them all things earthly to the women. God keep you safe. Always. skill of this, Wendy. I make my little wings vanish on the bark. I will fly. Odin has promised me. Ah, my friends return. young warrior. Welcome Brattle will no longer draw favour from the king. Long blades of the Scots served us well. Inspired plan, good marshal. Send troops for the bodies. If we bring him back, constable, <coughs> Brattle will be seen as a slain hero who stood up to an army of Scots. <laughs> they will immortalise him. Perhaps we take comfort knowing that we serve God's hungry creatures. Yes. Feast on, my friends. King fed me. <laughs> <laughs> Baron Price. Pardon, my lord. Your emissary has returned from Benfordshire. And it's for the disbursement, Chamberlain? Of course. Edwin. It is much too damp in this room. 
Yes, my love. <coughs> Take the Baroness to the sunroom. Who's next? Gawain Maddox? The traveling Punisher. Ah. You claim fairness. This is half my wage. Do you know how many journeymen pass through this shire every week? Hmm? Blacksmith, Bowman, even executioners such as yourself. Only flee the south in social work. It doesn't mean we don't deserve our rightful pay. If you don't find this satisfactory, move on. Find yourself another shire where you can peddle your brutal gifts. Next, Barclay the Minstrel. Ah, Minstrel. Where to, Maddie? To the sea. Venture shine. No! Forgive us, Baron. My lady. There's been another attack. Hooded thieves, all eight of our men slain. <laughs> Took us in darkness. Deadly ghosts. The same ones? Yes. Six in familiar hoods. There was another this time, deeper in the woods. Saw a flash of his face, a young one. How do you know he was a bandit? He was hooded. His clothing was different, all height and furs, but he was with them. Uh, a watcher, perhaps. What kind of fur did he wear? It had sheen, a, a beaver pelt, I'd say. Costly vesture for a peasant bandit. Beavers. Mm. What rivers do they dam? I'm not sure. Colder ones, perhaps. West to the sea. West. Gwyneth and the minor turns. Here, branches of the Dunoding run west. Touch the far end of the Shire. We've got settlers there? No, I think. Yes. Yes, we do. Barley farmers, West River riding. Quarterly collections. Oh, West River. Yes, of course. Half Legion and Horsemen, my charge. You ride with us. Pick out the watcher, make sound guesses of the others without their clever hoods. You as well, Rave. Get to know your shire. Yes, dear brother. Baron, my lady. And what's a man of law? Is there a mind for fairness in your swift purpose? Of course, my love. Fair process for every man. I know your distress is undoubtedly about the safety of your husband, my lady. But an ignorant eye may see it as concern for the welfare of outlaws. Well, I thank my maker that I'm in the presence of a man who never leans towards ignorance. Indeed. Knowledge is my service. Indeed. Perhaps you should share some of that knowledge with my husband. Let him know that his thirst to grow this shire should not be quenched with the sweat and blood of its own people. It is the people's duty to tithe. Only rebels refuse to honor the rule of law. No commoner wants rebellion. It only comes after hope and reason are burned to the ground. Tell me, Baroness, how is it that someone of your privilege may come to know the plight of the common man? Well, unlike some within these walls, I live with open eyes and open heart. He will break from Minus. And we both know there's nothing more dangerous than a Welshman who has nothing to lose. Keep my husband to a safe path. I'm depending on you, good Chamberlain.
Our brave hunters approach. Meet Shire Hayes, big enough to mount. Well, oh, skewer them sticks, some of that pricks, you beast lover. <laughs> Don't listen to him, boy. We take our comfort wherever we find it. And what if you find him taking comfort in your pen? Poking your prize hog. <laughs> I don't fancy hogs. <laughs> That's true. He's a one sheep man. <laughs> Why does Wilk use oak and not a blade? There are many things you do not know about our leader. Even Petra knows little of his life before he came to the river. I had to be a soldier. The fight skill he's given you, that was learned on a field of battle, not barley. The old tales best get locked in our head. More of your song. Ye talisman give portion. You should eat. Hey. Interest will keep doubling these guards. Yeah, we can't do this alone anymore. You saw the daffodil hides in the trees. The big ankle rebels would welcome our skill. I can arrange for a meet and we can. I serve God and family, not cause or crown. You straight brother. You think the gates of heaven will fly open because you down a man with wood instead of steel? Perhaps not. We both watch men die by the work of our hands, Wilkin. In service of God or king, it doesn't matter. We're driven by a deeper burn, and we need to feel that or we wither. Women and useless elders. Where are your men? The hunting. So adventurous. Skins for the next harvest. In the dark, do I seem a fool? Slit the boy's throat. <laughs> Where are they? A lie bleeds two fronts. They went to get in Daddy Batch. With their hoods. Yes! How many? Seven! Expect your baron to believe that a poxed out band of farmers have skill enough to nail our noble ranks. He should. His ranks seem only fit to strike women and children. Kill them all. Burn it to the ground. Make this one a sight for deep memory, brutal, and a strike of pain that cannot be hidden with insolent hush. Moral conflict.
Have mercy, please, not for me. For the innocent heart beating inside, please. Charlie will be sure to stay. Go! <laughs> They'll see the smoke. They won't ride into a waiting attack. I want them alive. For now. Let them suffer this. 